It seemed like somebody wasn't on their toes as far as security is concerned. People in Lamar County are in disbelief. Sounds like something out of a Marvel comic movie. To find out that Christopher Nicholas Carroll used a metal rod from a table to carve at a wall, escaping through it, knocking out a second wall, then squeezing through this fence, stealing a county van to make his escape. I don't think an average sized person could have got through the holes and maneuvered some of the ways that he did. Um, but but he was able to do it. He was obviously determined to get out. Lamar County Sheriff Brad White says they're reevaluating their security system to make sure this doesn't happen again. We're start, certainly going to look at uh, some of the infrastructure and how it's designed uh, to make sure this doesn't happen again. The biggest question is how in the world the sheriff believes based on evidence the inmate had help from another prisoner. I thought it was a joke when you first told me everything he did. Really? Yeah, I thought it was a joke. It's like no way, no one's going to break through two walls and squeeze, squeeze through a security fence. There should be more staff. There should be more people on the lookout. The van Carroll stole had a GPS device and it was tracked to Oler, South Carolina, just four miles from where his mother lives. Carroll was brought here on October 30th when he was arrested for driving a stolen car from South Carolina. Community members are now concerned for their own safety, knowing an inmate figured a way out. The guards and the security is so Somebody sounds like must have been negligent. How did he get access to uh, to a steel rod?